Welcome to Sunday School for our junior students for November 12, 2023. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is coming out of Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 through 14. The title of today's story, You Can Be Free. My name is Mr. Herbert, and this is my daughter, Jessica. He pointed to the girl beside him as she sat down. We're here to get her cell phone from the principal. The school secretary called the principal and then turned back to them. Mr. Carmichael will be with you in a few minutes. Mr. Herbert sat down next to Jessica, who rolled her eyes. Jessica, you know not to use your cell phone in class. You cannot blame anyone but yourself. I think you are addicted to texting. That's not true, Dad. I can't help it if I'm popular. I need to stay in contact with my friends. Jessica, you text in your bed at night, while you're eating, in the bathroom, in the car, on your bike, walking to school, during movies, and every other place. That is a sign of a problem. I'm going to pray because you need deliverance, and I'm going to keep your cell phone for a while. Whatever. Jessica rolled her eyes and twisted her body around in the chair. Do you think Jessica has a problem? Why or why not? How can her father help her? Just before Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, God instituted a special holiday. This holiday would celebrate their deliverance and help them remember all God had done. Our lesson scripture, Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 through 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak you unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls, every man according to his eating, shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts, and on the upper doorposts of the houses, wherein they shall eat it, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire, and thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord." And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt, and this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by ordinance forever. Even today, Passover is still celebrated by the Hebrews. Passover serves to remind the present generation that they were freed from slavery and should always be kind to the oppressed. The memory verse for today, And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. And that's Exodus chapter 12 verse 14. In the story today, Jessica's father had to come to her school to retrieve her cell phone. She had been texting in class, and her father thinks she has an addiction to texting. How can we help family 
friends, and others who may need deliverance from some type of problem or addiction. Whether it be food, alcohol, drugs, shopping, television, or stealing, etc. This week you are challenged to think of ways the church can participate in freeing those who are in bondage. Share your ideas with your church leaders and try to implement a plan for action. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.